and today I'm going to admit something that I really don't want to admit. I really didn't even want to go on camera because after thinking about this, I'm a little bit embarrassed about it. So I am making this program to save somebody and hopefully everybody the financial mistake I made. And it is kind of financially embarrassing and I know some of you have already thought about it and emailed me about it. However, true freedom comes from admitting your mistakes, right? So now, as I am entering the other side of this engine overhaul, and after looking at the engine being removed from the plane and the engine just sitting there on the pallet and the plane with no engine on it, and just driving a few hours to Fort Lauderdale to drop the engine off, I started thinking, well, could I have done any of this better? And yes, I could have. And the answer is actually really, really simple. Number one, high hours and the first sign of trouble. Don't get into the I can save it mentality when your engine is over 1800 hours and starting to show major signs of trouble. It will be cheaper and more efficient to lower the flag, call it dead, and begin the overhaul process at the first sign of major trouble over 1800 hours. This is where I really could have saved myself a whole lot of headaches and probably around $5,000. Number two, looking back, I had a failed cylinder and failed rods at about 1,820 hours. I should have pulled the plug right then and I should have replaced the engine right then. Instead, I thought I could squeeze another four or 500 hours out of it by replacing the cylinder. And the only problem is once you have an issue like this, like a serious problem, you're gonna find more. And that's exactly what happened to me. I had a three hour drive to add up all the mistakes and kind of overthink and think through this process and really this is the conclusion I came to. So sharing is caring, right? Even if it is bad decisions on my part. Hopefully it'll save all of you or some of you or somebody some money down the road. It's just a sensible decision. Number three, don't be afraid of honest advice from a mechanic. When your engine is dead, it is dead. And if you have a high time engine that is having trouble, this is where you inevitably will end up. It's going to happen. So throwing a few thousand dollars at it will not save you any money or add any time in the long run. Your engine is just dead. So I really don't feel so bad about this. It's a learning curve. And all of us I know can overthink everything, especially me. So looking back, could I have done this better? Yeah, I should have pulled the plug at the first sign of major trouble when I blew that first rod. So if you are facing the similar scenario, if you have a high time engine that is starting to show some signs of trouble, just go ahead, pull the plug and get it overhauled. That is gonna save you some headaches and it, actually you may spend a little bit more money or a lot more money, but you're gonna have an airplane sooner, you're gonna have less headaches, and it's just the right thing to do. So, I hope you learned something, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching, and if you are over 50, get off the couch and get into the air. Thanks for watching.